A car that runs on water instead of gasoline. Can it be true? Well, inventor Stanley Meyer made an announcement today in Colorado Springs. He says he's come up with a device that will hook up to any engine and allow it to run on good old H2O. News 13's Kurt Goff tonight on the possible impact of the water fuel cell. Stanley Meyer says the answer to dependence on foreign oil lies all around us. In seawater, tap water, and rainwater. Any kind of H2O, he says, can power just about every type of engine. How? With the water fuel cell, it fits in the palm of his hand, but it could revolutionize the world. You're talking about a pollution-free, totally new source of energy, the voltage disassociation of water. The fuel cell converts water into a gas, hydrogen oxygen, which is released in the form of thermo-explosive energy. So the water fuel injector simply replaces the spark plug. We hook it to a hydrogen computer system which regulates and meters the flow going into the injector. It processes the water in such a way to release its thermal explosive energy. The man who invented an engine that can run on water says he's been offered a billion dollars in cash by oil producing countries to sell his patent. So far, he hasn't sold. Environmental specialist Jan Porter talked to the inventor who thinks that the U.S. auto industry could produce cars that run on water now if they wanted to. Our industrial base of the world is based on the utilization of Stan Meyer has a car that runs on water, and that's drawing crowds okay. at this year's Extraordinary Science Conference in Colorado Springs. Myers has developed what is called the water fuel cell injector. The injector breaks down the water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen, and the hydrogen is what powers the car. Basically all we do is replace uh, the spark plug and replace it with the water fuel cell injector as you see right here. We simply feed ordinary non-processed water or processed water in here, and as the water goes into the injector, uh, it hits a very high pulse voltage frequency, which instantly converts it into thermal explosive energy. And as a result, we can run this car down a road on water. Meyer's invention was introduced in Britain earlier this month, and now the Brits have followed him here. Fact that we recently took a scientific delegation to witness Stan's work, to really evaluate it, and came back saying, this is one of the most important inventions of the century. Yeah.